what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Kona and we are going to pick up right where we left off last time so let's go ahead and we'll jump back into it and click that and it's loading and I'm pretty sure last time we just entered this house and I have not searched it yet so that is what we're getting ready to do we are going to look around this house this game is really getting interesting. Um, got a lot of positive feedback about um, about Kona. A lot of people like it. So, alrighty, Ballas, Ballas House. I don't know. Press A to continue. Okay. Okay. Well, we left off in here, and let's look in these cabinets. Anything in there? Take no, nothing. All right. Be in this cabinet. Ah, cigarettes. We are gonna take some cigarettes. What about anything in here? Nothing. Nothing but looks like peas. Alrighty. Well. Yeah, I'm turning that off. Anything in this drawer? Nothing. Nothing at all. Pots and pans in there. Looks like I got some Wheaties in that one. Money in a jar. What a shame. Carl would have loved cookies. Hmm. He would have loved cookies, huh? It's in the fridge. Ah. A steak. So you got some beer? Assume that's what that is. I don't know. A pay stub for some undoubtedly harsh lumberjack work. Huh. Alexandre Blais felled trees and chopped woods for Cloutier et Fils. Interesting. Okay. Fill up bottle. Okay, I guess we got a full water bottle now. Nothing in here that concerns us. Nothing? Nope. Alright, so we can go sh shut those cabinets. Nope. Shut that one. Alright. Let's, uh, look around here. A window open. Left open in that weather, perhaps something had to be watched. The sheets were in such a way that indicated a rude awakening, followed by a hurried escape. What had happened yeah, here? I'd say. We got a TV over here that was left on. Only. Ah. Okay. Interesting. It's not a very bright light, if you ask me. What's this? I fear the worst, Alexander. He hardly gets any sleep. I thought it was the work, but see, it. But it seems to be far worse than that from dusk till dawn he stares into the void he barely speaks to me his son asked him to play the ball and he didn't say a word and in <clears throat> and that in that way he has to glance into the window last night I heard him mumble in his sleep he's coming he murmured I don't know I don't know why, but those words left a deep impression into, on me. He woke up shir shortly after, covered in sweat. He couldn't remember his dream, obviously. He didn't go back to sleep after that. Chain smoking the night away over 
Oh man, it is like way too early for me to be reading stuff. <laughs> over the night away, or yeah, over the window. He told me to pack my things this morning. I wonder why. Does he himself know we're waiting? But for what? I I think I feel dread. Hmm. Whatever that means. Okay. Well, obviously, you know, it's like way too early in the morning for me to be reading. Nothing in there. Okay, well. What the flip? That seriously scared me. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Where's the, um... Where's the stupid crowbar when you need it? Somebody's gonna get beat. Oh, it's a wolf. Oh. Okay. Because a wolf can shut the door. Seems legit. <laughs> he just came in here to get a steak. That's all he did. Well, at least the wolves know where the food's at. Seriously scared me. <laughs> can we go in here? Looks like the bathroom. Nothing really... Oh, let's turn on the light. The bulb is burnt out. Okay. Nothing in there. What's down here? Anything useful? So we got some fire starter down there. We'll take that. A newspaper. Yeah, I'm not going to read that. <laughs> but we will keep the newspaper. Alright, well, doesn't appear that there's anything more in this house that we, I mean, we can inspect, so, I mean, let's, uh, let's head on out, and, uh, get in the truck and see what else we can find. When under stress, Carl is less accurate. I don't know what that just said. Right, let's leave the freaking door open, it'll shut it automatically, won't it? So basically it's telling us Carl needs a cigarette, wherever cigarettes are at. Alrighty, let's uh... Game, that's not supposed to be like that. <laughs> okay, alrighty, well you have that. Let's uh, go check out this garage. Sure, that's what that key was for. Unlock. Okay, well. Ah, a bottle. Carl's big fingers prevented him from reaching the key. Carl's big fingers prevented him right, from reaching the key. Okay. Can we use from reaching the key? Well, let's try this. Carl's big fingers prevented him from reaching the key. Okay, that doesn't work. Inventory. Can we reach it with this? Let's try that. No, we don't want to look at that. We need inventory. Can we use the pliers? No? No? Really? Okay. Huh. I am kind of confused on what we're supposed to do here. I don't even know. I don't understand why Carl couldn't just stick his hand down there and grab that key. So it looks like we need a string and a magnet. 
Alrighty. We'll have to keep that in mind. Next time we find string him. I think we got string already. I don't really remember. But, uh, yeah. Let's move on. Actually, before we get going, let's, um, check the map. See where we're at. Okay. So I'm right there. We go back out on the main road. Okay. Oh. Put the map away. Okay, now I need to look at the map again. See if, oh, no, 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 Carl. Carl, you don't want to back up. I don't even know if I'm on the road. <laughs> Let's put the map away. I can't even see the road. I don't even know if I'm on the right way. This is bad. Really, really bad. Okay. Okay, I see a road right there. <laughs> this is terrible. This storm needs to, like, go away. So I can actually play this game... Okay, I can kind of somewhat see the road. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, well, we're going to stop right here. Take a look at the map again. Okay. We need to go that direction. Is this the bridge? Uh oh, something's loading. Okay, let's see what it is. What's that over there? Let's go find out. Oh, wait, no, that's just the general store. And that appears to be blocked out because there's a tree in the way. Okay, well, let's pull up our map again. Here, Carl, 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 I need the map so I can see here. Okay. I'm trying to figure out where I need to go. Okay, I'm at the general store. <coughs> to do. This game is so confusing. Okay. It's saying on the map, off to our left over here, there should be like a, a road or something that we could take. But I can't I don't know if that's it right there or what. Oh, no, no, we're on it. We're on it. So we're going to follow this road here and see where it takes us. Because that's basically what this game's all about. Like, you just follow, follow, you, know, you just follow the map, I guess. And, like, you travel around to all the different houses and stuff. Oh, this is not safe at all. bridge don't give out and you basically just drive around and uh, find all these uh, these clues or something I guess we'll go this way looks like we're coming up on something here the game's got to load it in all right 
Let's get out and have a look. Son's mailbox. A key! Well. Hmm. I'll take a log. It's a fire starter. Oh, what's this of Dr. Beaupre's goodwill, the place didn't look much like a physician's office. It could easily be mistaken for a sewing shop. There should be a law forbidding doctors from falling sick. Yeah, I agree. There's nothing to read on that. Okay, well, that's okay. Let's shut the door. Let's get a fire started here. Warm the place up a little bit. Alright, we are here at the doctor's office. When locked, a door isn't enough. Yeah. For the one-eyed, or for other vision problems, the eye patch was the way to go. Oh god, that radio's freaking me out. Turn it off. Okay. So it's basically just searching around, seeing what you can find to survive with. My nightmare. Yep, standing on the scale. Carl got the trembles as he imagined the excruciating pain that kind of scalpel could no doubt inflict. Oh yeah. Yep. Within these miserable walls, patients probably felt more like in a slaughterhouse than in a doctor's office. A doctor is apparently fascinated by history. Yeah. A store in a cool, dry place with a constant temperature, they said. Store in a cool place, yes. Okay. Now I'm trying to pull out the flashlight. There we go. And there's blood. Someone had lost a few liters of blood here. Carl's first thought had been a lumber accident. Someone's hand cut by a saw, or a hunting accident. In any case, whoever had lost all this blood couldn't have gone far. Perhaps they were already dead. True. It's like, the place gives me the creeps, like... No, I wanted to open that. Is that a med kit? It is a med kit, and I'm taking it. A chamber pot. Fortunately for Carl, inspecting it wouldn't further this particular investigation. Hmm. There's a book. A communist manifesto. Only a few years ago, this type of allegiance meant prison time. And even at present, the Western world was very wary of the Soviet threat. Why would the doctor own such a book? Makes you wonder. Makes you wonder. Was the doctor a commie? Is that why the doctor's not here? Did he get arrested for being communist? We don't know. Uh, I mean, there's nothing we can read on that, so... Go ahead and put that away. Doctors used light reflecting frontal mirrors to look inside the patient's cavities. That was a bit unsettling. But back yeah. then, it was pretty much always the case with medicine. The good doctor, flanked by his beautiful spouse. Pure happiness captured on cardstock. Carl recognized this woman's soulful eyes. Was it Dr. Beaupre who had hit him head on at the village border? Hmm. 
nothing in there. Ah, oh, stop it. I don't want to open you. I want to open this one. Oh my gosh, this cabinet is driving me nuts. Is that potatoes? Okay, it's not awkward at all. Anything up here? Just toilet paper. At least use that. Nothing in there either. Well, not a whole lot here. I mean, it's a pretty desolate place. Oh, this is somebody's remains. Oh, that makes me sick. Not really. Huh. I don't know. I don't know about this place. Well, there's not a whole lot here, and not a whole lot we can really do. Um, let's head out back to the truck and see what else we can find. Shut the door. And the door will shut automatically. I don't really care. Random bottle laying on the ground. I think we can put away our flashlight. Ooh. Great care had to be taken searching this place full of oddities. Everything was important. The decor itself told a story. Yeah. Alrighty. Can't even see the road. Yeah, it looks like we're stuck, so. Oh, we just hit the deck. Good going. Okay. Okay, let's go down this little stretch of road here. up on something here. Not sure what it is, but we're going to go down it. Uh-oh. It's loading in something. Oh, we're getting off the road here. up on somebody's house. Alright, let's get out and have a look. Oh, there's smoke coming from the chimney. Might be somebody here. Okay, let's go in there and see what's going on. This is so broken. Like, you shouldn't see this. This, yeah, this game needs an update. Oh crap, there's a guy with a gun! Oh! Whoa, okay. There is a guy with a gun. Oh, Jesus. Help me, please. We aren't expecting strangers to show up here. Let, let me... No, I can't even read that fast. I think you have had way too much to drink. <laughs> oh, alright. So he said he's gonna give us some warm clothes. Can we trade? I say in trade. No? I know we got that stuff. I don't know. Okay, it's not a big deal. Vois-tu le livre là? C'est le Wendigo. Ouais, le Wendigo. 
le guerrier qui devient un loup pour me venger de sa grosse conne. <rire> Canadian French. Dans mon temps, c'était comme celui d'image. On était vrai, fier, fort, puis on avait le bon lieu de notre bord. <laughs> This guy's cracked me up. Well, let's see what he's got. I'm sure he won't mind if we take some stuff. Yeah, caribou. You have a lot of that around here. What is that? It almost looks like a M1. Is that an M1 Grand? I don't know. <clears throat> I swear the same songs play on the radio. So don't touch that. Ah, an adult diaper. <laughs> Nothing in there. <laughs> that's not even yeah that's nasty there is poop in that bucket poop that's yeah I'm getting out of there that probably smells for Carl Carl turn that thing off this guy is really weird <laughs> So weird. Okay, well, we're leaving. Goodbye. You enjoy sitting there. Okay, he wants a gallon of something. Well, if we find him a gallon of whatever he's looking for, we'll bring it back to him. Sadly, I think... This guy ends up dying and you take his rifle, so. Seriously, okay, well. Let's go down here and have a look. Anything down here? No, nothing. No, that's not at all. Okay, well, we'll head back to the truck. And we will hop in. Let's actually see if we damage our truck from backing into that thing. Oh, we got a fire starter in the bed of our truck. going on did I just put all the cigarettes in the back of the truck I think I just did probably let's look yep I did Okay, well, let's uh, get into the truck, and uh, I'd say they'll call it a episode, and uh, yeah, not a whole lot going on in the second episode. N nothing really crazy interesting is happening, other than just finding the dude with the gun, but uh, hey, that's Kona. Um, we will have to come back next time and see what other goodies are packed into this game guys so in the meantime hope you guys enjoyed this video 
Um, it's definitely getting to be an interesting game. Um, it's telling a story, but I'm not sure, like, I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to be a spooky story, a horror story. I, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. So that's why, I don't know, it's something to just definitely keep into, like, you know. Um, you eventually want to find out, you know, what happens. But anyways, guys, hope you're enjoying, enjoying the series so far, and uh, I will catch you in the next one. Take care.